Marathi English Marathi 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 M A I listen is an Indo-Aryan language spoken predominantly by around 83 million Marathi people of Maharashtra India It is the official language and co-official language in the Maharashtra and Goa states of western India respectively and is one of the 22 scheduled languages of India There were 83 million speakers in 2011 Marathi ranks 19th in the list of most spoken languages in the world Marathi has the third largest number of native speakers in India, after Hindi and Bengali. Marathi has some of the oldest literature of all modern Indian languages, dating from about 900 AD. The major dialects of Marathi are Standard Marathi and the Varhadi dialect. Kohli, Malvani Konkani has been heavily influenced by Marathi varieties. Marathi distinguishes inclusive and exclusive forms of we and possesses a three-way gender system that features the neuter in addition to the masculine and the feminine. In its phonology it contrasts apico-alveolar with alveopalatal affricates and, in common with Gujarati, alveolar with retroflex laterals L and Marathi letters la and la respectively. Geographic <laughs> distribution <laughs> 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 Marathi is primarily spoken in Maharashtra India and parts of neighboring states of Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Goa, Karnataka particularly the bordering districts of Belgaum, Bidar, Gulbarga and Atara Kannada, Union territories of Daman and Diu and Dadra and Nagar Haveli. The former Maratha ruled cities of Baroda, Indore, Gwalior, Jubalpur and Tanjore have had sizable Marathi speaking populations for centuries. Marathi is also spoken by Maharashtrian emigrants to other parts of India and overseas. There were 83 million native Marathi speakers in India, according to the 2011 census, making it the third most spoken native language after Hindi and Bengali. Native Marathi speakers form 6.86% of India's population. Native speakers of Marathi formed 68.93% of the population in Maharashtra, 10.89% in Goa, 7.01% in Dadra and Nagar Haveli, 4.53% in Daman and Diu, 3.38% in Karnataka, 1.7% in Madhya Pradesh and 1.52% in Gujarat. Status <laughs> <laughs> Marathi is the official language of Maharashtra and co-official language in the union territories of Daman and Diu and Dadra and Nagar Haveli. In Goa, Konkani is the sole official language, however, Marathi may also be used for some official purposes in some case. Marathi is included among the languages which stand a part of the eighth schedule of the Constitution of India, thus granting it the status of a scheduled language. The government of Maharashtra has submitted an application to the Ministry of Culture to grant classical language status to Marathi. The contemporary grammatical rules described by Maharashtra Sahitya Parishad and endorsed by the government of Maharashtra are supposed to take precedence in standard written Marathi. Traditions of Marathi linguistics and the above-mentioned rules give special status to tatsamas, words adapted from Sanskrit. This special status expects the rules for tatsamas to be followed as in Sanskrit. This practice provides Marathi with a large treasure of Sanskrit words to cope with demands of new technical words whenever needed. In addition to all universities in Maharashtra, Maharaja Sayahirao University of Baroda in Vadodara, Asmania University in Hyderabad, Karnataka University in Darwad, Gulbarga University in Kalabaragi, Devi Ahilya University in Indore and Goa University in Goa have special departments for higher studies in Marathi linguistics. Jawaharlal Nehru University New Delhi has announced plans to establish a special department for Marathi. Marathi Day is celebrated on the 27th of February, the birthday of the poet Kusumagraj Vishnu Vaman Shirwadkar. Topic: History. Topic: Indian languages, including Marathi, that belong to the Indo-Aryan language family, are derived from early forms of Prakrit. Marathi is one of several languages that further descend from Maharashtri Prakrit. 
Further change led to the Apabramsa languages like Old Marathi, however, this is challenged by Bloch 1970, who states that Apabramsa was formed after Marathi had already separated from the Middle Indian dialect. The earliest example of Maharashtri as a separate language dates to approximately 3rd century BCE. A stone inscription found in a cave at Nanahat, Janar in Pune district had been written in Maharashtri using Brahmi script. A committee appointed by the Maharashtra state government to get the classical status for Marathi has claimed that Marathi existed at least 2,300 years ago alongside Sanskrit as a sister language. Marathi, a derivative of Maharashtri, is probably first attested in a 739 CE copper plate inscription found in Sitara. Several inscriptions dated to the second half of the 11th century feature Marathi, which is usually appended to Sanskrit or Kannada in these inscriptions. The earliest Marathi-only inscriptions are the ones issued during the Shilahara rule, including a c. 1012 CE stone inscription from Akshi Taluka of Raigad district, and a 1060 or 1086 CE copper plate inscription from Dive that records a land grant Agrahara to a Brahmin. A two-line 1118 CE Marathi inscription at Shravanabelagola records a grant by the Hoysalas. These inscriptions suggest that Marathi was a standard written language by the 12th century. However, there is no record of any actual literature produced in Marathi until the late 13th century. Topic: <inaudible> Yadava period. Topic: After 1187 CE, the use of Marathi grew substantially in the inscriptions of the Sunna Yadava kings, who earlier used Kannada and Sanskrit in their inscriptions. Marathi became the dominant language of epigraphy during the last half century of the dynasty's rule, 14th century, and may have been a result of the Yadava attempts to connect with their Marathi speaking subjects and to distinguish themselves from the Kannada speaking Hoysalas. Further growth and usage of the language was because of two religious sects, the Mahanubhava and Varkari Panthans, who adopted Marathi as the medium for preaching their doctrines of devotion. Marathi had attained a venerable place in court life by the time of the Sunna kings. During the reign of the last three Sunna kings, a great deal of literature in verse and prose, on astrology, medicine, Puranas, Vedanta, kings and courtiers were created. Nalapakyan, Rukmini Swayamvar and Shripati are a few examples. The oldest book in prose form in Marathi, Vivekasindhu, Vivekasindhu was written by Mukandaraja, a Nath yogi and arch poet of Marathi. Mukandaraja bases his exposition of the basic tenets of the Hindu philosophy and the Yoga Marga on the utterances or teachings of Shankaracharya. Mukandaraja's other work, Paramamtha, is considered the first systematic attempt to explain the Vedanta in the Marathi language. Notable examples of Marathi prose are Lila Karitra. Lilakaritra events and anecdotes from the miracle filled the life of Chakradar Swami of the Mahanubhava sect compiled by his close disciple, Mahambada, in 1238. The Lilakaritra is thought to be the first biography written in the Marathi language. Mahambada's second important literary work is the Sri Govinda Prabhucharitra or Rudipracharitra, a biography of Sri Chakradar Swami's guru, Sri Govind Prabhu. This was probably written in 1288. The Mahanubhava sect made Marathi a vehicle for the propagation of religion and culture. Mahanubhava literature generally comprises works that describe the incarnations of gods, the history of the sect, commentaries on the Bhagavad Gita, poetical works narrating the stories of the life of Krishna and grammatical and etymological works that are deemed useful to explain the philosophy of sect. Topic: <laughs> Medieval and Deccan Sultanate period. The 13th century Varkari Saint Danyanishwar wrote a treatise in Marathi on Bhagavad Gita popularly called Danyanishwari and Amritanubhava. His contemporary, Namdev composed verses or abong in Marathi as well as Hindi. Mukund Raj was a poet who lived in the 13th century and is said to be the first poet who composed in Marathi. He is known for the Vivaka Siddhi and Paramrita which are metaphysical, pantheistic works connected with Orthodox Vedantism. The 16th century saint poet Eknath is well known for composing the Eknathi Bhagavat, a commentary on Bhagavat Purana and the devotional songs called Bharat. 
Mukteswar translated the Mahabharata into Marathi, Tukaram transformed Marathi into a rich literary language. His poetry contained his inspirations. Tukaram wrote over 3,000 abhangs or devotional songs. Marathi was widely used during the Sultanate period. Although the rulers were Muslims, the local feudal landlords and the revenue collectors were Hindus and so was the majority of the population. Political expediency made it important for the sultans to make use of Marathi. Nevertheless, Marathi in official documents from the era is totally Persianized in its vocabulary. The Persian influence continues to this day with many Persian-derived words used in everyday speech such as bag garden, karkana factory, shahar city, bazaar market, dukan shop, husher clever, kagad paper, kerchi chair, hameen land, haharat advertisement, and hazar thousand. Marathi also became language of administration during the Ahmadnagar Sultanate. Adilshahi of Bijapur also used Marathi for administration and record keeping. Topic. Maratha Empire Topic. Marathi gained prominence with the rise of the Maratha Empire beginning with the reign of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj ruled 1674-1680. Under Shivaji, the language used in administrative documents became less Persianized. Whereas in 1630, 80% of the vocabulary was Persian, it dropped to 37% by 1677 Samarth Ramdas was a contemporary of Shivaji. He advocated the unity of Marathas to propagate Maharashtra Dharma. Unlike Varkari saints, his writing has a strong militant expression to it. Subsequent Maratha rulers extended the empire northwards to Atak, eastwards to Odisha, and southwards to Thanjavur in Tamil Nadu. These excursions by the Marathas helped to spread Marathi over broader geographical regions. This period also saw the use of Marathi in transactions involving land and other business. Documents from this period, therefore, give a better picture of the life of common people. There are a lot of Bakaras written in Marathi and Modi script from this period. But by the late 18th century, the Maratha Empire's influence over a large part of the country was on the decline. In the 18th century during Peshwa rule, some well-known works such as Yatharthadapika by Vaman Pandit, Naladamayanti Swayamvara by Righunath Pandit, Pandava Pratap, Harivijay, Ramvijay by Sridhar Pandit and Mahabharata by Moropant were produced. Krishnadayarnava and Sridhar were poets during the Peshwa period. New literary forms were successfully experimented with during the period and classical styles were revived, especially the Mahakavya and Prabandha forms. The most important hagiographies of Varkari Bhakti saints was written by Mahipati in the 18th century. Other well-known literary scholars of the 17th century were Mukteswar and Sridhar. Mukteswar was the grandson of Eknath and is the most distinguished poet in the Ovi meter. He is most known for translating the Mahabharata and the Ramayana in Marathi but only a part of the Mahabharata translation is available and the entire Ramayana translation is lost. Sridhar Kulkarni came from the Pandharpur area and his works are said to have superseded the Sanskrit epics to a certain extent. This period also saw the development of Pawada ballads sung in honor of warriors, and Lavani romantic songs presented with dance and instruments like tabla. Major poet composers of Pawada and Lavani songs of the 17th and the 18th century were Anant Fandi, Ram Joshi and Hanaji Bala. British colonial period Topic. The British colonial period starting in early 1800s saw standardization of Marathi grammar through the efforts of the Christian missionary William Carey. Carey's dictionary had fewer entries and Marathi words were in Devanagari. Translations of the Bible were first books to be printed in Marathi, these translations by William Carey, the American Marathi mission and the Scottish missionaries led to the development of a peculiar pigeonized Marathi called the Missionary Marathi in early 1800s. The most comprehensive Marathi English dictionary was compiled by Captain James Thomas Molesworth and Major Thomas Candy in 1831. The book is still in print nearly two centuries after its publication. The colonial authorities also worked on standardizing Marathi under the leadership of James Thomas Molesworth and Candy. They used Brahmins of Pune for this task and adopted the Sanskrit-dominated dialect spoken by the elite in the city as the standard dialect for Marathi. The first Marathi translation of the New Testament was published in 1811 by the Sri Rampur Press of William Carey. 
The first Marathi newspaper called Durpan was started by Balshastri Jamhekar in 1832. Newspapers provided a platform for sharing literary views, and many books on social reforms were written. First Marathi periodical Durgadarshan was started in 1840. The Marathi language flourished, as Marathi drama gained popularity. Musicals known as Sangeet Natak also evolved. Keshavasut, the father of modern Marathi poetry published his first poem in 1885. The late 19th century in Maharashtra saw the rise of essayist Vishnushastri Chiplunkar with his periodical, Nibandmala that had essays that criticized social reformers like Phool and Gopal Hari Deshmukh. Phool and Deshmukh also started their own periodicals, Deenbandu and Prabhakar, that criticized the prevailing Hindu culture of the day. The 19th century and early 20th century saw several books published on Marathi grammar. Notable grammarians of this period were Tarkadkar, A. K. Kare, Moro Keshav Damal, and R. Joshi. The first half of the 20th century was marked by new enthusiasm in literary pursuits, and socio political activism helped achieve major milestones in Marathi literature, drama, music, and film. Modern Marathi prose flourished through various new literary forms like the essay, the biographies, the novels, prose, drama, etc. N. C. Kelkar S. Biographical Writings, Novels of Hari Narayan Apte, Narayan Sitaram Fadke and V. S. Khandakar, Vinayak Damodar Savarkar. S. Nationalist literature and plays of Mama Varakar and Kurloskar are particularly worth noting. Marathi since Indian independence after Indian independence, Marathi was accorded the status of a scheduled language on the national level. In 1956, the then Bombay state was reorganized which brought most Marathi and Gujarati speaking areas under one state. Further reorganization of the Bombay state on May 1, 1960 created the Marathi speaking Maharashtra and Gujarati speaking Gujarat state respectively. With state and cultural protection, Marathi made great strides by the 1990s. A literary event called Ukhil Bharatiya Marathi Sahitya Samelan All India Marathi Literature Meet is held every year. In addition, the Ukhil Bharatiya Marathi Natya Samelan All India Marathi Theatre Convention is also held annually. Both events are very popular among Marathi speakers. The Marathi spoken by Chitpavan in Pune is the standard form of language used all over Maharashtra today. This form has many words derived from Sanskrit and retains the Sanskrit pronunciation of many, misconstrued by non-standard speakers as nasalized pronunciation. Notable works in Marathi in the latter half of 20th century include Khandakar's Yayati, which won him the Neonpith Award. Also Vijay Tendulkar's plays in Marathi have earned him a reputation beyond Maharashtra. P. L. Deshpand, Pula, Vishnu Vaman Shirwadkar, P. K. Atra, and Prabodhankar Thakuri were also known for their writings in Marathi in the field of drama, comedy, and social commentary. In 1958, the term Dalit literature was used for the first time, when the first conference of Maharashtra Dalit Sahitya Sangha Maharashtra Dalit Literature Society was held at Mumbai, a movement inspired by 19th century social reformer, Jayodiba Phool, and eminent Dalit leader, Dr. Bimrao Ambedkar, Babarao Bagal. 1930-2008 was a pioneer of Dalit writings in Marathi. His first collection of stories, Jevha Me Jat Chorali Jevha Me Jata Korali When I Concealed My Caste, published in 1963, created a stir in Marathi literature with its passionate depiction of a cruel society and thus brought in new momentum to Dalit literature in Marathi. Gradually with other writers like, Namdeo Dasal who founded Dalit Panther, these Dalit writings paved way for the strengthening of Dalit movement. Notable Dalit authors writing in Marathi include Arun Campbell, Shantabai Campbell, Raja Dale, Namdev Dasal, Daya Pawar, Anabau Saith, Laxman Main, Laxman Gaikwad, Sharankumar Limbale, Bao Panchbai, Kisha Shantabai Kale, Narendra Jadav, and Ermila Pawar. In recent decades there has been a trend among Marathi-speaking parents of all social classes in major urban areas of sending their children to English medium schools. There is some concern, though without foundation, that this may lead to the marginalization of the language. Topic dialects Topic Standard Marathi is based on dialects used by academics and the print media. Indic scholars distinguish 42 dialects of spoken Marathi. Dialects bordering other major language areas have many properties in common with those languages, further differentiating them from standard spoken Marathi. 
The bulk of the variation within these dialects is primarily lexical and phonological e.g. accent placement and pronunciation. Although the number of dialects is considerable, the degree of intelligibility within these dialects is relatively high. Zadi Bola Topic Zadi Boli or Zadaboli Jadaboli is spoken in Zadapranta a forest rich region of far eastern Maharashtra or eastern Vidarbha or western central Gondwana comprising Gandhia, Bandara, Chandrapur, Gadchiroli and some parts of Nagpur of Maharashtra. Zadi Boli Sahitya Mandal and many literary figures are working for the conservation of this important and distinct dialect of Marathi. Topic Southern Indian Maratha Topic Thanjavur Marathi, Namadeva Shimpi Marathi, Ari Marathi and Bhavsar Marathi are some of the dialects of Marathi spoken by many descendants of Maharashtrians who migrated to the southern India. These dialects retain the 17th century basic form of Marathi and have been considerably influenced by the Dravidian languages after the migration. These dialects have speakers in various parts of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. Topic Varhada topic Varhadi, Varhadi, Varhadi or Vidarbi, Vidarbi is spoken in the western Vidarbha region of Maharashtra. In Marathi, the retroflex lateral approximant L is common, while in the Varhadi dialect, it corresponds to the palatal approximant Y IPA, J, making this dialect quite distinct. Such phonetic shifts are common in spoken Marathi and, as such, the spoken dialects vary from one region of Maharashtra to another. Topic other topic Thanjavur Marathi, spoken in Tanjore, Tamil Nadu Judeo Marathi, spoken by the Bene Israel Jews. Other languages and dialects spoken in Maharashtra include Maharashtrian Konkani, Koli, Malvani, Agri, Andh, Warli, Dongi, Khandeshi, Aharani, Kokna, Vadvali, Samavedi, Marathwadi, and Deshi. Topic phonology topic The phoneme inventory of Marathi is similar to that of many other Indo Aryan languages. An IPA chart of all contrastive sounds in Marathi is provided below. Older aspirated asterisk ts, dz have lost their onset, with asterisk ts merging with s, and asterisk dz being typically realized as an aspirated fricative, z. This ts, dz, z series is not distinguished in writing from t, d, d. There are two more vowels in Marathi to denote the pronunciations of English words such as of a in act and a in all. These are written as A and O. The IPA signs for these are A and respectively. Maharashtri Prakrit, the ancestor of modern Marathi, is a particularly interesting case. Maharashtri was often used for poetry and as such, diverged from proper Sanskrit grammar mainly to fit the language to the meter of different styles of poetry. The new grammar stuck, which led to the unique flexibility of vowels lengths, amongst other anomalies, in Marathi. Marathi retains the original Sanskrit pronunciation of certain letters such as the Anasvara for instance, Samhar, compared to Sanhar in Hindi. Moreover, Marathi preserves certain Sanskrit patterns of pronunciation, as in the words Purna and Rama compared to Purn and Ram in Hindi. Topic writing topic Kadamba alphabet and its variants has been historically used to write Marathi in the form of inscriptions on stones and copper plates. The Marathi version of Devanagari, called Balbod, is similar to the Hindi Devanagari alphabet except for its use as words in Marathi traditionally pronounced schwa making its written form differ even from other Marathi words. For example, the word ranga color is pronounced as ranga in Marathi and rang in other languages using Devanagari despite same spelling. Karam true despite the Anishwara is pronounced as kara as the Anusara in this case is used to avoid schwa deletion in pronunciation since most other languages using Devanagari show schwa deletion in pronunciation despite the presence of schwa in the written spelling. From the 13th century until the mid 20th century, Marathi was written in the Modi script. Since 1950 it has been written in the Balbode style of Devanagari. Except for Father Stephen's Krista Purana in the Latin script in the 1600s, Marathi has mainly been printed in Devanagari because William Carey, the pioneer of printing in Indian languages, was only able to print in Devanagari. He later tried printing in Modi but by that time, Balbode Devanagari had been accepted for printing. Devanagari. Topic. Marathi is usually written in the Balbode version of Devanagari script, an abugida consisting of 36 consonant letters and 16 initial vowel letters. It is written from left to right. 
The Devanagari alphabet used to write Marathi is slightly different from the Devanagari alphabets of Hindi and other languages. There are a couple of additional letters in the Marathi alphabet, and Western punctuation is used. As with a large part of India, a traditional duality existed in script usage between Devanagari by religiously educated people, most notably Brahmins, and Modi for common usage among administrators, business people, and others. As observed in 1807, although in the Maratha country the Devanagari character is well known to men of education, yet a character is current among the men of business which is much smaller, and varies considerably in form from the Nagari, though the number and power of the letters nearly correspond. Vowels Vowel ligatures with consonant ka, ka Consonants ka ka ga ga na ka cha ya ja nya ta da 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 na ta da 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 na pa fa ba ba ma ya ra la va sa 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 ha la ka sa jnya ka kha ga gha na cha chha ya ja nya ta da 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 na ta da da dha na pa pha ba bha ma ya ra la va sha sha sa Hala Kasadinya, Jainya. It is written from left to right. Devanagari used to write Marathi is slightly different than that of Hindi or other languages. It uses additional vowels and consonants that are not found in other languages that also use Devanagari. The Modi alphabet from the 13th century until 1950, Marathi, especially for business use, was written in the Modi alphabet, a cursive script designed for minimizing the lifting of pen from paper while writing. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Consonant clusters in Devanagari. Topic: In Devanagari, consonant letters by default come with an inherent schwa. Therefore, tayachi will be tiak, not Tiake. To form tiake, you will have to write it as t plus yachi, giving tiachi. When two or more consecutive consonants are followed by a vowel, then a jodakshar consonant cluster is formed. Some examples of consonant clusters are shown below. Tiachi tiake, his. Prastava prastava, proposal. Vidya vidya, knowledge. Mayana mayan, sheath scabbard. Tavara Tavara, immediate, quick. Mahatva Mahatva, importance. Facta Facta, only. Bahulia Bahulia, dolls. In writing, Marathi has a few digraphs that are rarely seen in the world's languages, including those denoting the so-called nasal aspirates, nh, nh, and mh, and liquid aspirates, rh, rh, lh, and vh. Some examples are given below. Kanheri Kanheri, a shrub known for flowers. Oleander Nane Nane, bathing. Manuna Manuna, therefore. Tarha Tarha, different way of behaving. Kolha Kolha, fox. Kenva Kenva, when. Topic: <laughs> Grammar. Topic. Marathi grammar shares similarities with other modern Indo-Aryan languages. The first modern book exclusively concerning Marathi grammar was printed in 1805 by William Carey. Marathi employs agglutinative, inflectional and analytical forms. Unlike most other Indo-Aryan languages, Marathi preserves all three grammatical genders from Sanskrit, masculine, feminine and neuter. The primary word order of Marathi is subject object verb. Marathi follows a split ergative pattern of verb agreement and case marking. It is ergative in constructions with either perfective transitive verbs or with the obligative should, have to, and it is nominative elsewhere. An unusual feature of Marathi, as compared to other Indo European languages, is that it displays inclusive and exclusive, we also found in Rajasthani and Gujarati, and common to the Austronesian and Dravidian languages. Other similarities to Dravidian include the extensive use of participial constructions and also to a certain extent the use of the two anaphoric pronouns sauda and apan. Numerous scholars have noted the existence of Dravidian linguistic patterns in the Marathi language. 
sharing of linguistic resources with other languages. Topic. Over a period of many centuries, the Marathi language and people came into contact with many other languages and dialects. The primary influence of Prakrit, Maharashtri, Apabramsa and Sanskrit is understandable. Marathi borrows a lot of its vocabulary from Sanskrit. Marathi has also shared directions, vocabulary, and grammar with languages such as Indian Dravidian languages, and foreign languages such as Persian, Arabic, English, and a little from Portuguese. Vinayak Damodar Savarkar, the noted Hindutva ideologue, writer, and poet, contributed to the Marathi language by coining new Marathi equivalents for words from other languages, mostly English. Prior to these Marathi equivalents, words from other languages were used commonly which was unacceptable to Savarkar. He opined that intrusion of foreign words, polluted the Marathi language, while also rendering the original Marathi words, of the same meanings, obsolete. The following are some of the words coined and popularized by him. Topic. Morphology and etymology Spoken Marathi contains a high number of Sanskrit-derived words. Such words are for example nantar from nantara or after, purna purna or complete, full, or full measure of something, ola ola or damp, karan karana or cause, puskal paskala or much, many, satat satata or always, vichitra vichitra or strange, svata svata or himself, herself, prayatna prayatna or effort, attempt, biti from biti, or fear and banda banda or vessel for cooking or storing food. Other words, tadbhavas, have undergone phonological changes from their Sanskrit roots, for example dar dwara or door, gar gra or house, va viagra or tiger, palain palayat or to run away, kiti kati or how many have undergone more modification. Examples of words borrowed from other Indian and foreign languages include adakita, nutcracker, directly borrowed from Kannada, akka, sister, borrowed from Tamil, Hahari attendance from Haziri Urdu Jaharada advertisement is derived from Arabic Zahirat Marji wish is derived from Persian Marzi Shifarasa recommendation is derived from Persian Sepharish a lot of English words are commonly used in conversation and are considered to be assimilated into the Marathi vocabulary these include pen native Marathi lekani and shirt Sadara. Topic: Compounds. Topic: Marathi uses many morphological processes to join words together, forming compounds. For example, ati plus utam gives the word atudam, miat bakar, salt bread, udayag pati, businessman, ashtabuja, eight hands, name of a Hindu goddess. Topic. Counting Topic. Like many other languages, Marathi uses distinct names for the numbers 1 to 20 and each multiple of 10, and composite ones for those greater than 20. As with other Indic languages, there are distinct names for the fractions 1 quarter, 1 half, and 3 quarters. They are pava, arda, and pana, respectively. For most fractions greater than 1, the prefixes sava, sad, pavan are used. There are special names for three halves deed and five halves attic. Powers of ten are denoted by separate specific words as depicted in below table. A positive integer is read by breaking it up from the tens digit leftwards, into parts each containing two digits, the only exception being the hundreds place containing only one digit instead of two. For example, 1,234,567 is written as 12, 34,567 and read as 12 lakh 34 Hazara 5 she 67. Every two-digit number after 18, 11 to 18 are predefined is read backward. For example, 21 is read Akavisa 120. Also, a two-digit number that ends with a 9 is considered to be the next tens place minus 1. For example, 29 is Ekanadisa, Akonatisa, Ekauntisa 30 minus 1. Two digit numbers used before Hazara, etc. are written in the same way. <laughs> Marathi on computers and the Internet Topic. 
Shrilipi, Shivaji, Kothar II, IV, VI, Kiran fonts KF Kiran and many more about 48 are clip fonts that were used prior to the introduction of Unicode standard for Devanagari script. Clip fonts are in vogue on PCs even today since most of the computers in use are working with English keyboard. Even today a large number of printed publications of books, newspapers and magazines are prepared using these ASCII-based fonts. However, clip fonts cannot be used on Internet since those did not have Unicode compatibility. Earlier Marathi suffered from weak support by computer operating systems and Internet services, as have other Indian languages. But recently, with the introduction of language localization projects and new technologies, various software and Internet applications have been introduced. Various Marathi typing software is widely used and display interface packages are now available on Windows, Linux and macOS. Many Marathi websites, including Marathi newspapers, have become popular especially with Maharashtrians outside India. Online projects such as the Marathi language Wikipedia, with 36,000 plus articles, the Marathi Blogroll, and Marathi blogs have gained immense popularity. Marathi Language Day Topic. Marathi Language Day Marathi Dina, Marathi Dawasa, Marathi Dina Marathi Dawasa is celebrated on 27 February every year across the Indian states of Maharashtra and Goa. This day is regulated by the state government. It is celebrated on the birthday of eminent Marathi poet V. V. A. Shirwadkar, popularly known as Kusumagraj, essay competitions and seminars are arranged in schools and colleges. Government officials are asked to conduct various events. <laughs> Marathi organizations Many government and semi-government organizations exist which work for the regulation, promotion, and enrichment of the Marathi language. These are either initiated or funded by the government of Maharashtra. A few Marathi organizations are given below. Ukhil Bharatiya Kirtan Sanstha, daughter, Mumbai Ukhil Bharatiya Marathi Natya Parishad Ukhil Bharatiya Marathi Sahitya Mahamandal Central Confederation of All Marathi Organizations Maharashtra Sahitya Parishad, Pune Marathi Kavita Marathi Visvakash – Marathi Encyclopedia Project Marathwada Sahitya Parishad, Aurangabad Mumbai Marathi Sahitya Sang Raja Marathi Vikas Sanstha Shod Marathicha Vidarbha Sahitya Sang, Nagpur Topic. Outside Maharashtra State Topic. Ukhil Bharatiya Marathi Mandal, Jabalpur Andhra Pradesh Marathi Sahitya Parishad, Hyderabad Marathi Granth Sangrahale, Hyderabad Vivek Vardini Shikshan Sanstha, Hyderabad Maharashtra Mandal, Hyderabad Vedic Dharma Prakashika High School, Hyderabad Gomantak Marathi Academy, Goa Gomantak Sahitya Sevak Mandal, Panaji, Goa Madhya Pradesh Sahitya Parishad, Jabalpur Marathi Sahitya Parishad, Karnataka Karnataka Sahitya Parishad, Gulbarga Chhattisgarh Marathi Sahitya Parishad, Balaspur, Chhattisgarh Madhya Pradesh Marathi Sahitya Parishad, Bhopal Vidodara Bidod Sansthan Gaikwad State, Gujarat Raja, Bharat Sri Maharashtra Sahitya Sabha, Indore Sanand Nyas, Indore Marathi Samaj, Indore Maharashtra Rangayan, Delhi Briana Maharashtra Mandal, an umbrella body of all Marathis who stay outside Maharashtra Marathi Association Sydney Incorporated, Sydney, Australia Maharashtra Mandal, London Marathi Bashak Mandal, Toronto See also Topic. Konkani language Topic. References Topic. Topic. Bibliography Topic. 
Topic. External links Topic. Marathi language at Curly Marathi language at Encyclopedia Britannica Dictionaries Malsworth, J. T. James Thomas. A Dictionary, Marathi, and English, 2D ed., Rev., and all. Bombay, printed for government at the Bombay Education Society's Press, 1857. Vase, Sridhar Ganesh. The Aryabhusan School Dictionary, Marathi English. Pune, Arya Bhushan Press, 1911. Tulpul, Shankar Gopal and Ann Feldhaus. A Dictionary of Old Marathi. Mumbai, Popular Precaution, 1999.